zero. You can start with zero if you know what you're doing. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you a strategy right now, how to start with nothing, which is very hard because you have to have the money to buy the note. So I'm going to assume you have the money to buy the note. So here's what happens. Assume, let's use the example I just gave Bill. Assuming some, someone sold the property and carried the financing of $100,000. So that seller has now a promissory note, a mortgage note that says this is a $100,000 note to be paid or amortized over 30 years. So they're going to make the payments over 30 years, but it's going to be due on the fifth year. So amortized, it's called amortized, it's 30 due in five. That means 30 years amortization due in five. And the note is written interest only at 8%. So the buyer came in and has to make a payment on a 100,000 note to the seller. And 8% on the 100,000 is 8,000 a year. So that person is paying the seller 8,000 a year. But the seller immediately at the closing says, geez, I sold it to make it easy on this guy to come in and cash me out of this and that. I need to discount the note and sell it. So you, Daniel, you go over to this guy and you say, you have a 100,000 note paying you 8%. You know, I'm gonna buy it from you at $80,000. So the person says, good, I'll give you a discount on the face value. Everybody with me on the terminology, face value of the note is 100,000. I will sell it to you at 80,000. You go through escrow, escrow, make sure this is all done properly, that there is a, this guy really owns the note that is secured against the property for your collateral and that 80,000 comes in, cashes him out. And now you have a note that the face value, the face value of the note is saying 100,000. And now the, the payor, the guy that's in the house is making you payments of 8,000. Well, the 8,000 on the 100,000 is 8%, but you paid 80,000. So 8,000 coming to you is 10%. So far, so good. Good. So now you're getting that 8,000 a year, which is 10% return on your investment. Five years later, so that's 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000. You got 40,000 in income. On the fifth year, this is interest only. On the fifth year, he refinances and cashes you out. Remember, it was interest only. So how much does he still owe you? $100,000. So now he pays you off, gives you 100,000. You originally paid 80. So you just got an extra $20,000. So you got the 40 plus 20, you got 60,000 on an $80,000 note. You didn't have to fix toilets. You didn't have to deal with tenants. You didn't have to talk to anybody. You didn't have to do anything. You are just like, like the bank. And the United States of America system is set up to benefit creditors. The more you understand how to be creditor, the more you have people by the, by the throat. So, it is very good to understand how it works because let's talk about now you said what are the biggest opportunities investing in notes that's one of the biggest opportunities because you don't want to complicate your life too much and issue loans you want to buy them from existing situation now existing mortgages that people want to sell them you can actually advertise looking for a discounted note with a good yield and um, good cash flow so now what are the biggest challenges for a new investor investing in notes? Number one, you have to have some cash to buy the note. Can you not buy the note and just broker notes, find them and assign them to somebody else? Of course, like, like wholesaling real estate, but it's a little harder and it's very regulated. You have to be licensed, etc. But I'll give you the challenges, the real challenges. I'll give you four real challenges. You have to analyze, number one, the paperwork to ensure the loan was done properly. I don't know if you recall, 2008, 2009, there was a lot of loans that were signed by what's called robo-signing. So they did paperwork, mass production, uh, Washington Mutual and this other bank and these small lenders, and they did robo-signing, like sign here, e-sign, and this is this is to move fast. And the borrower said, I didn't know, I didn't understand. Nobody disclosed anything. I didn't even see somebody in person. It was all online, I, I don't know. So Bank of America paid a fine of, I don't know, like $60 billion settlement of course the week later they got a hundred billion grant from the government but it's, it's a good show you know you may not see the other news you see the first news but i'm in the business so i see all news but nevertheless 
You have to make sure, number one, somebody analyzing the paperwork to ensure that if they don't pay you, you can foreclose. So who's gonna do that? An experienced attorney. Number two, you have to make sure the paperwork was done right with the borrower. So the number two you're gonna have to analyze is the borrower. Is this borrower truly what they say he is or she is? Do they have the credit? Was the credit run? Are you with me? And did that, that number four, the collateral. What is that property? What is its value? Maybe they gave the loan, maybe you're buying a note at 100,000 when the property was worth 130, but the property today is worth 100. So yeah, your discount at 80 is pretty good. Maybe you should buy it at 70. So the number three, after the paperwork and the borrower, is the collateral. The coll what is that asset? Let's check the comparable sales. Let's get it appraised. Let's at least do a drive-by appraisal. Let's see what the, the days on market, what's happening in that market. Because what if they are selling the note because the guy is now not paying? Which brings me to number four. Uh, by the way, on the collateral, you want to make sure that that borrower put actual cash down payment because if that borrower did not put cash down payment, most likely when there is a problem, he will walk away. I don't know if you know, VA loans today are approving people up to $2 million, no money down. Let me tell you this one slowly. VA people can get up to $2 million loan to buy property, no money down. Of course, they're not going to just give them the $2 million, no money down. They're going to make sure they can make payments on the property they live in it. So it will be a VA person making good money and they're going to tell him or her, he can get up to $2 million. That, that's amazing. And what's going to happen is they're going to default because they don't have any skin in the game. They're going to say, oh, I couldn't make the payment. Good luck, goodbye. So you want to make sure the collateral is valued at X and that that borrower had put X down payment. And the more they put down, the less likelihood they're going to walk from the deal. And number four, you want to make sure the note has been seasoned. Seasoned note, that means they paid at least six months on it on time or a year on it on time. So to repeat, you're going to analyze the paperwork that the loan was done properly, that the borrower is good credit and put a down payment. Number three, that the collateral, that asset that secures the note is good. And number four, that the note has been seasoned. They paid a little bit. It's better to get a note that has been performing a bit. Um, and by the way, worst case scenario, they don't pay you. What can you do? Okay, you can you can call that borrower and say, look, I have the note. You owe me. I can foreclose on you, but I'd rather not. Let me give you cash for keys. Let me pay you to leave. It's always better. I, I hate to be so absolute, but always better. Anytime you can save time to transact, you're better off. Plus, it's more humane. I don't want to throw anybody out of their homes. So I want to work something out. Hey, let me pay you to leave. Let me, I'm not going to report it to your credit. I'm, I'm just going to let you go. Just go and try to get something smaller working on. Number two, you can modify. I'll tell you what, I'll let you skip two payments. We'll add them to the end. I'll have to increase your interest rate. You are in control. So you can do the cash for keys. You can do modification. So where are the complications? The complications are state rules. It's too regulated. You can only call on so many times. You can threaten them. They can complain. Don't call me again. They can file bankruptcy. What does that mean? You can get your the, can foreclose. You can foreclose, of course. Again, the country is set up for the creditors. You will foreclose, but it's going to take longer, longer process. Like in Florida, six months plus. New York, a year plus. Ideally, if you want to buy notes, buy them in non-judicial states like Texas, Washington, usually the west of the United States. Texas, um, Washington State, Oregon, California. California is my favorite for these, but they're also highly regulated. Um, so so um, you have a lot to watch for, and there is a lot of fraud in the mortgage business and a lot of rules. What do I mean by fraud? They can play games with the buyer, put a down payment, but it's not true, it's fake. Put a down payment, then return the money to him or her. And they, they put the property, inflated the price. A lot of fraud happened in 2007, 8, 9. They discovered these frauds that were happening in 2004, 5, 6. It was a disaster. They, there were many arrests in New Jersey and all this, that groups of people buy property, sell it at a higher price, get an appraisal to fake the numbers, etc. So you have to really know what you're doing. It's our recap. Analyze the paperwork that is done correctly if you need to foreclose, that the borrower has good credit and has placed a down payment, that the collateral has the value they claim it has, and that the note has been performing its season for a while. The challenges are state rules. If the borrower files bankruptcy, 
how do you do the modification that's going to pass muster with the state and the rules and all this and that they're going to continue and if you do the cash for keys that they're actually going to go through with it how do you pay them so they can leave and get the property and then rehab it and resell it but notes are a lovely lovely way to do business and eventually i will create a huge amount of notes into the real estate funds we have and it's going to open opportunity for the students like they have never dreamed because you can buy partial notes with us you can buy the notes from us i will i have a plan that uh, i just first have to exit from like 70 million dollars of properties in san francisco we're going to do a lot of notes maybe 100 million at a time in chunks but you will have the opportunity to for example buy a note from me at the discount and have a guarantee that if it defaults i take it back from you so you you, you practically have like uh, low to no risk there is no way i can say no risk let's just say low risk very low risk